Important discussion today at Rhode Island College as the state's school safety committee met with teachers and administrators to discuss ways to deal with school threats and to de-escalate situations. Eyewitness News reporter Alexandra Leslie has the details from the Providence Mobile Newsroom. Wednesday's school safety conference at Rhode Island College featured a variety of different topics, but the biggest one that people noticed was mental health. School violence, social media, and bomb threats, all topic of discussion at a school safety conference Wednesday. And we're looking at threat assessment teams. How do we sit together as a group in our schools and assess the kids and what is the nature of that threat towards our schools? The Rhode Island School Safety Committee has been around for over a decade. Whether it's through our threat assessments, whether it's through training to this nature, whether it's to try to grab funding for our schools to have a baseline across the board of each school being safe. Rhode Island State Police Captain Derek Boric heads the committee. He says training for the worst case scenarios at schools is constantly changing. We're kind of refocus about what's going on in our society today with individuals with mental illness and how to deal with that, how to deal with de-escalation in our schools. He hopes school employees like Michael Toronto, a district safety officer for Westerly Public Schools, will take back what they learned and start implementing it immediately. To help our districts to make sure that we're all on the same page. Toronto believes today mental health training is more crucial than ever. If we can stop these from happening at an earlier age and, and have the uh, mental health in place for the students, then we might be able to stop some of these from happening. Not only were various members of law enforcement here, but the conference was, of course, open to teachers, social workers, and more. Reporting in Providence, I'm Alexandra Leslie, Eyewitness News.